okay, how to use Zoom. So you, you have a lot of uh, small features here on the bottom here. So security, you don't need to, to take care of participants. If you click on participants, you will see here the list of all the people attending. Um, for the organizer, you can uh, change here uh, the name. So it can be cool having, okay, I'm Pierre, I'm located in Germany, but this is up to the facilitator. Maybe some of our colleagues will come and use it. We can also make here voting, doing a session, making yes and no. So do you agree with this? Yes, yes, yes. So we can see the count of everything, of everyone. When you're attending the Zoom room, please mute yourself first and open your camera. Uh, it's about some kind of face-to-face -face meeting. It's not about just using a video conferencing system for a phone call. That's for this feature. If you have here a second, the chat feature, uh, we will use a lot. You can make here chatting for everyone. And here, actually, you can just see everyone. But once you have more than one person here, you will have a list. And you can click here. You will have a list uh, coming out. And you can make a private chat session. And you can discuss all along the, the, the event. Screen sharing uh, will be activated, activated. So you just have to click on screen sharing. You select what screen you want to share. If you want to share also a video based here, uh, don't forget to, uh, to click on the optimized screen share. This helps you, this helping the, the sound of the video passing through directly the Zoom and not through your microphone here. That's Zoom sharing. We can have polling, but that's not necessary, not today. We will have breakout rooms. Breakout room is helping to, to split um, the room in multiple sub, uh, sub rooms. Uh, I can create here, let's say a couple of rooms. I create here the rooms. I have here sub breakout rooms. You can, op in options, I can have a breakout room for 20 minutes. So meaning the, the, you will have a countdown and after 20 minutes, the room is closing automatically and you're all coming back to the main room. So this is helping having some kind of group conversation. It's a very, very powerful tool. So if uh, the organizer want to recreate the room, you can here change the room size. So we have different rooms and we will, you will have also options coming up later when you have more people, then you can have automatized allocation. Maybe you can randomly uh, changing the, the rooms so people are not can have a couple of sessions, but not not ever with the same people. If you don't touch it, you will can you can keep the the same session with the same people. This is here the recording uh, for the purposes of this conference. Uh, recording will be won't be provided as a standard. If you want to record your session, bring your own Zoom link and you can record, but please mention it during your pitching. It won't be, it, it's not out as people are surprised because a lot of people don't like to be recorded. Uh, also during this kind of crazy sessions. So please be kind and gentle. We had a long conversation about this to get to, uh, the best deal. And I guess the best deal is by default, it's not allowed. But if you want to record, because I have a lot of friends that want to record just the games to collect games, then you have to mention it during the pitching. Closed caption is not necessary. Reaction, you can hear some kind of reaction like, or oh, clapping is on the top. Here you have a clapping, uh, or oh, you have thumbs up. The problem is if you're an organizer and you have a lot of people and you have a lot of screens, because on the screen you just have, I guess, between 20 and 30 people into it. If you have 100, maybe you will have four to five screens. You can't see the, thumb, the thumbs up. But we'll come with other tricks here. And more here is some of the session will uh, will be casted recorder like the marketplace. Um, that's the deal we have. If I make a marketplace, I can click here uh, live on YouTube. I choose an account here. I have this Agile Square account. I can make it private. So it's just for us. The Zoom is created, takes less than a minute. So for the, why do we want to have this for the marketplace? Meaning if you come later when you're pitching, when people are joining later, 
or coming back later, you, you will be able to watch you again here. You can watch again afterwards uh, uh, all the, the pitching session. So you remember what session it is. So this will be an account. They will share with you the account a little bit later. Okay. I guess, do I miss something? Nope. There's a lot of details also in, 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 in YouTube. So when my marketplace is over, I have to stop my live stream. This is cutting the video. So the next time I will create a new video. This is how to slice the videos down. Okay, that's it. Hope it helps. See you tomorrow.